going on everybody welcome back to the channel i'm deuce miss this is iowa plains view we're back spreading some manure uh springtime is coming to an end we got uh, hay being worked on we got weeds being worked on we're spreading some manure with the help of uh dean i think is still giving us a hand with this so that is good that is good um hopefully this works out i've got this thing cranked to 180 and here's why because you can hop out, look at the field, and see what it needs versus how much it has on it. And basically, this, the sandy loam, or whatever it's called, uh, this part, yeah, the silty clay, sorry. Uh, the silty clay is at like, it's at like 15, and this is at 25. So I'm going with 180 is what I'm putting on there. That should get us all the way up. If you want to check it out real quick, there's 10 to 200, right? There's 190 of 180. So we need 180 on the field. Um, I think that works out pretty well. We're going to slightly overdo it. We need some lime on this field too. I didn't realize that. So we may, may do some lime after this. But for right now, we're going to try to get this big old field manured. with as much, Using as much manure as we can, we'll grab the slurry spreader if we have to add to it anywhere, if we have to make up the difference somewhere. Uh, and then we'll get some lime started after that. So that should be good. That is the plan for the day. Hope everybody's doing well. If you're watching later on YouTube, thank you for checking out the channel. Much appreciated. Come hang out for the full live stream. Uh, I say the full, you guys get the full live stream over here too, but uh, if there's any breaks or anything, I'd, I'd just chop them out. Or before this, before I actually do the YouTube intro, if I say anything, which I didn't today, uh, you, you missed that part. That's all you missed, really. So you guys are getting the full playback anyway. Uh, but if you want to come hang out, you want to give me a follow, help me get to 3,500 followers on Twitch, that would be fantastic. I'm not going to I'm not gonna be mad at you if you did. Uh, trying to get to 1,000 subscribers on this YouTube channel, so share the channel around if you like what you see. Appreciate it. Thanks. Uh, I'm not going to tell you to hit buttons. Just share the channel around. That, that helps out tremendously. Tremendously. Uh, Crystal, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. I imagine some more folks will be joining us soon enough. Typically, it does take uh, a few minutes for everybody to get in. And, and everybody gets here, but they don't want to stay and watch the... Uh, the ads that I run at the beginning, understandable. Because, well, nobody really wants to watch ads, right? No. No. But you, if you run them on Twitch, you get them out of the way. Uh, on YouTube, I don't actually get any ad revenue. So if you see ads, that's that's not me. That's just YouTube doing their thing. I have no control over that part. So don't blame me. It's going well so far. We're staying right within that... Um, that that finish line flag up there on the top left so that's good again this is just gonna take a while we're just, just gonna be here slinging manure for a little while we'll turn that off probably don't even really need it manure spreading on the corn uh luckily we're not killing the crops that's good they're just they're just small enough that it's not hurting them so you got one more loop there on that i may have time if he turns around and comes back, which I don't think he's going, I think he's right on the edge of the field. Actually, no, he's not. He's going to turn around and come back. Yeah. So if he turns and comes back and he's up here, I might have time to run over and get the um, windrow hooked up, get a course play set for it. That way the, the baler can follow it too. So that'd be good. Maybe we can get that done. Sandhill, what's up, buddy? How's it going? Hope all is well with you. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, this is going to take, going to take quite a few passes here. Uh, to get this done. I don't know that we're going to have the manure we need to finish this out, but hopefully we can get most of it done anyway. I hope so. That'd be great. Also, it's starting to get pretty warm here, and our air is still not working. So, kind of kind of sucks. I'm not going to lie. All right, there we go. We'll let him get out of this mess. He got himself in. There you go. Maybe we should do a headland across right here. You know what? Let me, let me, just, let me just have this for a second. We'll just do a headland across the top and bottom because it looks like uh, it's going to be needed. And hopefully we have enough in here to do this. Let's, let's turn that back on. It's going to take a lot. I'm not going to lie. It's going to take a lot of manure to go across here. Uh, maybe we not worry about the bottom. It's just trees down there. There's no, no big hill or anything to deal with. So maybe we just go this way. Just playing on my new favorite map. Which one is that? I'm curious. My saga with the underground silo. It's working very well. Then it deleted the game cow barn. Oh, then you delete it. We delete it. Okay. Today I bought the new TARDIS 500k trailer. The underground didn't work. Sold that trailer and the underground worked fine. 
See, that is super, super, super strange. I don't understand. I, just, I don't understand. Oh, we finished work done on that end. Crap. Okay. We're going to have to do this in stages then. Uh, yeah, I don't understand what's going on with that crystal. That seems very, very odd um, that it would do that. It's very strange. Crap. I missed a little bit right there in the middle. Let's go ahead and correct that, actually. I don't want to. I don't want to leave that. No pun intended on the use of the word crap because crap. But yeah, you get it. Don't want to leave a whole bunch. There we go. And now, boom. Okay. There we go. All right. Let's go find this guy. Yeah, we need to do that last row right there. There's a little bit more. He's got to get done. Don't forget mama. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Uh, the 500 in-game dollars. I appreciate you reminding me because I did forget. Been a busy day today. Busy day today. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to do something crazy. And I'm going to start going to the gym in the morning. So, uh, starting tomorrow morning. So, tomorrow I may be in pain. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. I may be in pain tomorrow. We shall see, I guess. Um... But yeah, that's going to be a, at least a three to four times a week thing. So, got to get got to get out of the house and, and exercise a bit. Backroads Country for Backroads County Forex from the Mod Hub. Nice. Weed spraying's going good down here. That's nice to see. But we need, let me check our animals, because I don't think I did. They're good. They're, oh, yeah, we did. We did. Okay. Chickens need to be fed, but other than that, we're doing pretty well. How's the TMR doing? It's TMRing. It's making TMR. We're, we're out of straw, though. Well, I say we're out. We're not out. We got plenty. Um, mineral feed. Oh, my God. I can't believe we have so much mineral feed. This is fantastic. So much mineral feed over here. And we still have 128,000 liters in here. Yeah, so we're, we planted a little bit of, of sugar beet, even though we didn't need to. We didn't need that extra for sugar beet. We could have planted something else there. Uh, but we are out of water, basically out of wheat, corn, um, and canola. So I'm glad we planted what we did. We'll make some more of that. That'll be good. Methane, we're just storing now, but we haven't put anything in there recently. So uh, I was going to put some grass in there, but I don't think I will now. I think I'll just wait. I think I should have backed on up and got this right here too. Probably. That's all right though. There we go. Let's go. You were lurking earlier for winter survival? That game is crazy hard. Crazy hard. Guys, if you're watching on YouTube later on the Farmer Deuce YouTube channel, I have a channel that's called Do Some S on YouTube as well. It's just youtube.com slash do some S. Uh, where I played lots of different games this week so far. We've played Gold Rush, we've played Expeditions, a Mudrunner game, and today we played Winter Survival, which was Wednesday. If you're watching this back uh, after it comes out, if you're watching it way later, it was just one day that week, whatever. Um, and tomorrow we're doing um, Taxi, a city life driving simulator, and it is really really laid back and a lot of fun actually so uh looking forward to playing that some more that's gonna be fun but yeah i play lots of different games on my main channel also have a uh, youtube channel called pixel news plays which i don't think i'm gonna get dinkum done for tomorrow um just because this week has been i've been slacking this week i'm not gonna lie so uh where's he at he stopped way down there okay we we'll have to do this again as soon as we get turned we'll go jump in there and get him moved uh yeah i don't think i'm gonna get dinkum done for tomorrow but i'm gonna try to get it done for saturday and then um, try to get Power Worlds done for Sunday. So I'll try to get those out. I kind of want to spread them out more. Um, I might just skip Dinkum this week, get Power World out on Sunday, and then start putting... I may change my schedule for Dinkum to come out on Wednesday. All right, crazy, right? Yeah. Uh, I may do that. Celtic Moon, how's it going? They give you a 116 acre grass field. Let's just say you will never run out of grass. Oh, I bet. Yeah. 116 acres is a lot of grass. I mean, that's that's a whole bunch. That's a whole bunch. 
I don't see how you could ever run out of grass, honestly. What happened here? Maybe they got blocked by something? I'm not sure what happened. Yeah, that's probably what it was. Alright, that's fine. There we go. There we go. This is done, I guess. What are you doing back down here all of a sudden? You know what? That's fine. That's fine. Let's let's close it up. Let's go. We got a second or two here. We can we can get over there and get back, hopefully. Uh, like I said, we just need to get the windrow set up so that we have something that's pretty decent to follow for the uh, for the baler. And I think we're going to set it up so it, it does a headland and then uh, it does all the up and down stuff. But I think we're going to set it so it starts on the inside instead of the headland. That way the baler can do the same. And it won't be in its way once it gets to the end, I don't think. So. There we go. Uh, and this right here, we may do the same thing we did before. We may use this just for grass. And we may put this in the farm productions just to make silage from there so that um, we have some methane coming out. That would be good. Tell me about to get off. No, we just got started. Yeah, we just got started about uh, 15 minutes ago. I started a little bit late today. I had to run a, had to run to the store, run a little errand today. Bank, store, you know, everybody that wants money I had to go do that today. Yeah, we just got going. Um, I have a question about the Nitrado donation link. Do I have to make an account? I think so. I think you do, and it's only because you have to move money into your account, maybe, or maybe not, maybe just donate directly. But yeah, they have to know where it came from, basically. Yeah, I think you do have to make an account. Sadly. Uh, it'd be better if they didn't do that, but uh, sadly they do. So, uh, number of headlands. Let's go one headland, start work on center. Clockwise, sharp, yeah, all that looks good. Generate. Let's see what that looks like. That looks okay. Starting at the bottom, but that's fine. Let's go see. There's the stop point. Let's go see what the start point looks like. And then we'll get uh, get back to doing some manure spreading. I don't know how much manure we got left, but... Trying to see if we can see it from here. There's still some in there, so that's good. Alright, where is our start point? Right here. This is perfect. This is good. This is what we want. That means this is where the baler's going to start, but that's fine too. Okay, first waypoint. Boom. Okay. Yeesh. Running cost. Alright, you're almost done spraying weeds over here. And we'll hang out with this one for a minute. We'll move it over to the other field because we're almost done. Didn't mean to stop it. Not what I was trying to do. Uh, there we go. Those two. I'm trying to remember what GPS was. Get rid of that on this one. We don't need it for this. All the weeds have been sprayed over all of these fields, I think. So I think we're good. We just have to wait on the weeds for the kern. But we may not even need that because we had to plow that field up. So, yeah. We don't have to do that. Yeah, I think, I think the reason they make you make an account is so they can... I mean, it's just like anything else. So they can keep track of who's who's doing what, basically. Which to me seems kind of crazy, because they're, they're adding a step for people to help out content creators or, or whatever. You know, if they just want to pile money in and, and have a server, even if they're not a content creator. They're, they're making it difficult for people to do that. They're adding a step to it, which complicates the process, which turns people away from it. So it kind of it kind of sucks, honestly. Kind of sucks. What is all this over here in Discord? What are y'all doing? I'm not used to seeing that many channels with stuff on it. Oh, it's Smudo. It's a nice ham you got there. It'd be a shame if someone put a S in front of it and an E behind it. 
I don't, I don't get it. Oh, it would be a shame if someone put an S in front and an E behind. Ham, shame. Smudo doing his thing again. Yeah, we may not have to do spray weeds at all down here, I don't think. That's the case. I think we're done with this guy. Go ahead and take this back and get rid of it. Needs to be refilled. Oh, that's the... Uh, Um, what's it called? The manure spreader. That's all it is. Okay, let's go ahead and repair everything that needs to be repaired here. It'll just be this guy. That one. Alright, let's go customize. Put back on our big wheels, I guess. I swear I thought I had wide tires and weights on here. I guess we just had standard. Put the weight back on. There we go. We'll pull this up here. We'll get it sprayed later. I'm going to go ahead and grab the... Uh, go ahead and grab the uh, lime spreader. We'll take it down to the end. We're probably going to have to have lots and lots of lime to do the big field, but that's all right. We'll, we're close enough to the store. We can just run over and grab what we need. Yeah, no lime whatsoever. I don't think there's any lime down here either. I think we used it all. All that seed... And we're done with seed. That's enough seed to get us going for next year, too, so that's good. Uh, yeah. Off we go. Off we go. Lots of wheat, lots of canola growing. That's good. Good, good. Some really good steep hills in the fields. One of the field, uh, one of the field, the hill is basically straight up and down. That's, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's, that's steep. Yeah. What's up, Redneck Farmer? How's it going? Welcome. Good to see you. Yeah, that's, um, that sounds very steep, straight up and down. Kind of like the original No Man's Land map mowing the backside of the hill. Yeah, that was pretty rough. That was pretty rough. Yeah, some of these hills in the game, man, that's a challenge. I don't see how farmers do it in real life, some of these hills that they have to farm on. Pretty steep stuff. Which I know they don't use super steep hills, but to actually farm, they might mow. But still, any anything that's pretty stiff is or pretty steep is uh, make you make you stiffen up in the tractor, you know. Oh, we gotta go to the store. I don't know where I'm going. Gotta go to the store. Still working. Still working. Good deal. Okay. okay we gotta buy a bunch, a bunch of lime. And we'll just pull up over here and then come back and get this in a minute. We're not, we're not done with the uh, manure yet, so uh, hopefully we can get lime down on that field today too. It'd be good. Go ahead and cut that one off. Let's go ahead and order the lime and we'll come back and get it later. Even if we don't use all that for this, 
We're going to need it later for the mineral feed. Looking good, sir. Looking good. Okay. Let's go ahead and just back up here. Get this. Actually, you know what? Let's just start there. I think that's fine. There we go. I don't know how much manure we got left over there, but we'll just keep going until it runs out. Hopefully there's enough to last. Maybe there is. I don't know for sure. This is a crappy job, you know what? Maybe we should up this a bit. Well, I can't, I can't up it while he's... Let's up that just a bit. Let's try this again. go run it up to 90 running 90 percent on it See if I can get a good angle on this here no not really if I had a drone I could just fly behind this that'd be kind of cool I get whatever angle I wanted. You're chopping, chopping corn silage and chopping at an angle on the hill and the silage truck starts sliding sideways. That's steep. Yeah, that's... I think that's when it gets dangerous. That's just me, though. That's my opinion. I think that's when it gets dangerous. That seems tough. That seems very tough. I should have let I should have let uh, John turn around with this, I guess. Well, we could have got it exact. That's all right. We'll go with this. That's pretty close. We're, pretty, we're not we're not far off over here. A little bit of overlap. That's all right. That's all right. I don't know how much manure we got left. I'd have to physically run over there and look because it doesn't show us. I don't think. Does it show us here? Manure. I hate manure. We've got 100, 297,000 liters of manure. This might actually get it done, too, because if we look back here, we're going to jump over that. 205, 210. Yeah, we're slightly over, but that's all right. 70, 180. Yeah, that's good. That's good. we got to get some lime down, too, though. Uh, you know what? Maybe we could do. All this is um, doing its thing. Could go ahead and start loading this and have, uh, Dean was spraying, no, Jenna was spraying. We're going to have Jenna start spreading some lime, I think. Good that work. She does really well at following directions. She's not like John or, or Dean, so they kind of don't follow direction well at all. Go ahead and start filling this up. Wait till John gets turned around with a manure spreader. Jump back over there and then do it again. There we go. John has officially emptied out. Jump back over to get John going again. It's a, a juggling act today. Go. Let's go back one.
Got it. Carefully. Very carefully. This shouldn't take all of these. This should be kind of a partial load here. I would think, anyway. Yeah, there we go. That's full. Let's leave this like it is. Go get Jenna started. And again, that, that field's probably going to take a lot of lime, so whatever the auto is for it is what we're going to go with. That's a field we haven't worked yet. We ordered the test for it. It was like a hundred grand or something crazy. We don't have to worry about it for a couple of years, so that's good. Ooh, easy. Easy big guy. All right, we'll cut right through here. Snag a little bit of fuel on the way. go and fill that back up never ending always spending money on something okay then right here go ahead and cut a headland right across probably about right we could probably go out a oh no we can't either I think we could probably go out a bit further, but actually we're too far out now. It's all right. Yes, I know you've stopped working because you've reached the end of your your ability to recognize where you need to go next, John. I understand. I'm coming, sir. Just hang out for a bit. Yeah, I know we can run our headland here, so that's fine. And I think Jenna will be just fine after this. Alright, let's go back to the other side. Yeah, we're getting now to the angle part over here, so that's fine too. Go get Jenna started back on this part. Dean is doing really well over in the grass field. That's going to be ready to bail up pretty soon. That's nice. bit shy there. Hang on. There we go. Find it in a minute. There we go. Back in this one. Make sure we're getting all this here. There we go. We have to go refill this thing at some point. We're using quite a bit of it ourselves. We're getting there, though. This is looking good, too, a bit. Let's go see. So here is our pH level. You can see that coming up with the lime over there. Here's our nitrogen level. Oh, look at that nice dark green right there. We need to get some on the grass fields, too, because this is probably hurting our environmental score. That's a three. Definitely hurting the environmental score. Yeah, we need to get some... Uh, yeah, the pH level is fine. We need to get some, some nitrogen put back in the ground, though. Yeah, we're going to, have to do some slurry or something on it. And this field over here doesn't need anything. 99's across. 100 there. 97. That's good. Okay. Yeah, the grass field's bringing us way down. So we're going to have to work that out, too. We'll try to get some slurry or something on it soon. After we get that up, probably we'll get something on it. This is working out pretty well, though, I think. Pretty doggone good. Almost got to the end, didn't you? All right, we're going to let John turn all the way around. 
We don't have that much left to go. It's just these weird angles now are going to start messing with the amount I have in here. I'm going to have to go refill it pretty soon. I can get turned around there. Go. Yeah, we got to kind of ride with him. Uh, keep him, keep him motivated, I guess you could say. Gotta keep him motivated. Motivation, it's what's for dinner. So let me ask a question. Feel free in the YouTube comments to let me know what you think too. Um... Anybody in chat remember uh, Gene Simmons from the 80s? You guys remember him, the workout guy? If you remember Gene Simmons, without looking it up, tell me if he wore a headband or not. Because I'm 100% sure he wore a headband. So now here's the thing. If you're saying yes to that, I want you to go to look on YouTube and find Gene Simmons videos. You won't find a single video with him wearing a headband. Huh? Huh? How you like that? Not a single solitary video with him wearing a headband. Not one. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. Yep. I've randomly had stuff popping up in my Twitter feed, my X feed, whatever, uh, about the Mandela effect. And it started with the Fruit of Loom thing. And, I, and I've always remembered Fruit of Loom having the cornucopia behind the fruit, right? Um... But even on their website and their official Twitter account, they've stated they've never used a cornucopia for the Fruit of the Loom logo. And I just don't believe that. Not at all. Uh, I specifically remember a cornucopia in the Fruit of the Loom logo. But apparently that's fake too. That's false. Again, the Mandela effect strikes. So do you remember a Fruit of the Loom logo having the cornucopia? I just thought that was really interesting. And if you're watching on YouTube later, again, leave me some comments down below. Where are you going, sir? That ain't right. You're going the wrong way. I need to be down here. Yeah, let me know down in the comments. Do you remember Fruit of the Loom having a cornucopia? Because I sure do. I specifically remember it. It's kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. I don't know why we would remember it and it not be there. I don't know. But we've talked about the Mandela effect on this channel before, but those are the ones I never really thought about. I think the fruit was the cornucopia in a way. No, no, I specifically remember the fruit like falling out of a cornucopia, like the horn of plenty. Like, I specifically remember that. Like, as in my brain, when I was a kid, I remember learning about a cornucopia via Thanksgiving, but I, I related it to the logo of Fruit of the Loom so I could remember it. Like, I specifically remember that. So it's really strange that it's not a thing. <laughs> it's really weird. Yeah, YouTube, let me know down below. Do you remember that? Because I certainly do. I certainly remember it. And it's kind of crazy that so many people are like, oh, they never had one. Richard Simmons never wore a headband. They were called the Berenstain Bears, not the Berenstain Bears. 
I don't remember that either. Yeah, that, exactly. Crystal. Crystal posted an image of Fertiloom with the cornucopia at Discord. That exactly, that's exactly what I remember. Yeah, the Berenstein Bears. Yeah, no, they were the Berenstain Bears. S-T-A-I-N, not S-T-E-I-N. From the 80s that's what i that's what i was thinking crystal now on their website and all their official documents and everywhere else they specifically said they've never used a cornucopia in their logo never they even put out a thing on their website that shows the logos from the 18 1890 until now isn't that crazy it's never had a cornucopia and i don't believe it i just don't believe them because i specifically remember that exact logo Ah, uh, we missed a little bit. Little line right there. What's that? One row. Oh, tank is empty. Okay, let's swap back to the other tank then. Let's see how much manure we got left. 111,000. All right. Let's go pull from uh, Cow Barn 1. Go ahead and save that too. Just, just so it doesn't save again here anytime soon. All right. Boom. Boom, boom. There we go. I think we're going to have just enough to finish this. we got 111,000 left. So, we're really missing a bunch right there. That's all right. Yeah, the whole Jiffy peanut butter thing, Berenstein Bears, like... I don't know. I feel I feel like we, we, we hit a time loop somewhere and then drifted into an alternate version of Earth. I don't know. You, you, can, you can explain it however you want to, but... Uh, <laughs> it just, it's so weird that I specifically remember these things that aren't true. Why is that? You know, like, why? What's, what's the, what's the reasoning? What's the reasoning for me, me remembering it that way? And so many other people remembering it that way. It's so weird. But TikTok is like the visual Reddit and or the video version of Reddit. And somebody went through a deep dive and found a patent uh, from Fruit of the Loom where they patented a logo with varied fruit coming out of a cornucopia. So why would they straight up lie about it if it was patent? If it was if it had a patent on it. Right? What what would be the purpose of them lying there? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense at all. YouTube is not the end-all be-all of information. Or has uh, ever fact about television. Yeah, I mean, that's true. That's, that's perfectly reasonable. But if you Google it, if you Bing it, if you Yahoo search it, wherever, you're going to find the same answers. Why would that be? That's all I'm saying. Like why? Why is that? Why is that a thing? <laughs> I don't. I don't understand. It doesn't make sense. Perfectly reasonable to assume that what you remember is true, but according to them, it is not. Crazy, right? Uh, let's try to. Let's get as much of this down through here as we can. Got a little bit left in here. Let's get some of these big spots on the edges. At least one of them anyway. There we go. We'll take that. That's good enough for me. That's this whole field done. Let's go get some, uh, I guess a slurry spreader. Oh, out of lime. Okay. We're going to grab some lime first. And then we'll, uh, get back to it how far did that get not that far <laughs> i was hoping we'd get further than that with a full trailer load but that's all right looks like dean's over here doing a pretty good job almost finished up one more row maybe he may not even do that next row i'm not sure oh no he still got the headland to go that's right he's about to start the headland i think the voltage 
How's it going? Oh, look at this, all the stuff he's missing at the front. Oh, no, that's the headline. That's right. Okay. No, that's good. That's good. That's what we want. That's perfect, actually. Perfecto. We'll have to save that as a uh, hayfield or something. I need to go this way. We'll park this down here. Yeah, this grass field could use some manure, too. I think we'll let it sit. We'll try to get manure on that grass field tomorrow in game. Hopefully that'll work. Yeah, see, that one's completely empty. It's the first time we've emptied out the manure and the slurry in one year, but we haven't had to buy fertilizer. That's a pretty big deal. It's a pretty big deal. No buying fertilizer this year. Saved a ton of money. Saved an absolute ton of money. Okay. Uh, I think we'll finish finish this with this first. Let's go grab some more. Grab some more lime. Lots still going on here. Long way to go. Very long way to go here. Jump right over this curb again. This is going to become our new road in and out right here. There we go. Yeah, I think the Mandela effect's a really interesting topic. Because there are so many things that I specifically remember that just weren't true. Jiffy peanut butter. No such brand. The Fruit of the Loom cornucopia. Never was a thing. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. It's Jiff, not Jiffy. I specifically remember a brand of peanut butter called Jiffy. And I'm not the only one. Millions of people remember it too. Jiffy peanut butter. Yeah, I'm not the only one that, that remembers that, by the way. Not even close. I just think it's weird. Back in 1958, Jiffy creamy peanut butter. Yeah. But every, all the experts will tell you, Jiffy peanut butter never existed. Yep. You won't find Jiffy today, it's just Jiff. Why are there two different brands? There's not, because Jiffy never existed. That's what I'm saying. It's weird. And they're wrong. <laughs> That's what I've been trying to tell people. <laughs> oh, I've been trying to tell people that. Jiffy did exist, and nobody believes me. You remember it too, see? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, so the the Fruit of the Loom thing's been circulating on uh, the TikTok. Uh, people from Reddit, I feel like, are the ones tracing this down. Uh, but the Fruit of the Loom cornucopia thing has been trending again, which made me think about that today. Just if anybody remembers the cornucopia from Fruit of the Loom, Fruit of the Loom denies it. 
even on their website they've got a they've got a uh, an image of all the logos they've ever used and there's not a cornucopia in front of fruit or behind fruit at all in any of the images and I just thought well that's a lie because I specifically specifically remember it but why would they do it other than it's great free advertising right great free advertising but I'm not sure why uh, what was the guy I said a while ago? The, wor the workout guy from the 80s? Can't remember. There was Jiffy. Yeah, you won't find it today, though. What happened to it? Right? Where'd it go? <laughs> it just disappeared. There's no Jiffy peanut butter anymore. All right, this is almost done, so we'll wait here on this. And uh, I think, is this the last... Yeah, this is the headland here. All right, cool. Almost done. Man, we slung a lot out there we didn't pick up, though, didn't we? That's right. Maybe we can do a once around or something with it. Yeah, there's no Jiffy peanut butter on the shelves. It's just Jiff. We have some in our cabinet. Jiff creamy peanut butter, Jiff crunchy peanut butter. I can't remember which one it is. But it's the same logo. It's just Jiff instead of Jiffy. Again, crazy. For advertisement? Yeah. Somebody bought it, changed it, and they're causing a stir? For advertisement? That's what I'm saying. It's the best marketing ploy I think I've ever heard of. Right? Get everybody talking about it again, that kind of stuff. It's great. It's a great marketing ploy, for sure. Just looked up and it said Jiffy peanut butter got recalled. Yeah, but there are people out there that say that Jiffy never existed. And to me, that's just, that's just madness. Because I know for a fact it existed. So why would people be trying to say it never existed? Because they remember Jiff and they don't remember Jiffy? Because that makes sense. If they just don't remember it. But making me feel like I'm crazy because I remember Jiffy peanut butter. You know? Like... <laughs> it's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. Why is this line all crooked like that? What happened? I don't know what's going on there. It's weird. Yeah, I'm not going to get all that. That's fine, though. We don't have to get all of this. It's fine the way it is. I don't understand the the back and forth on the line here. It seems kind of odd, but hey, whatever. We're getting it all. It's so strange how it just bounces left and right right here. I didn't think we were going to be able to get all of the, the loose stuff on the headland there, but we are. Sweet. And... There we go. Okay, we're going to use the same tractor for the bailing. I'm just going to go put this away and then fill it up first, I think. All right. Let's save this um, here. Boom. What field is this? Field three. Field three. JD Mo. Yeah, we can get rid of that too. Let's save course. Active. Uh, wind, flash, bail. Go. We'll just leave that up because we're going to be using the same exact track here in just a minute. There you go. Off we go, go. Yeah, thought-provoking stuff, though. What's even crazier is you get people that like think of you as a conspiracy theorist. It's like I'm no, I just remember it being this way. Like, why does everything have to be a conspiracy theory? You know, like I just remember it being like this, not like that. Whoa. 
All right, some hay baling incoming. Uh, not that we need any more hay, I don't think. I think we're still good. I think we're topped off on hay over here. Yeah, we're, we're absolutely slapped topped off on hay, but that's all right. We'll get this. There's a grass bale in there. I remember that now. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll get that grass bell out after everything else is done. Things still going? It's not. Let's go fix that real quick, I guess. I don't know why it's not going anymore, but there we go. try something. Let's just say from here, first waypoint. There we go. Easy peasy. Maybe. I don't know where he's going, but first waypoint. What's up, Jeremy? How's it going, buddy? Maybe we won't run over anything. Well, this is still running. Did not know I left that thing running. How are you doing over here? Still got a long way to go, huh? Long way to go. 50% done. Alright, let's go give some feed to the cows then, shall we? We got nothing else to do right now. Might as well go feed them. We stop again? No, it's still going. Ooh, I don't know if I can get under that. That's, that's close. Barely. We barely made it under it. We have to turn around, come back, turn around and come back the same way next time. Oh, we need to go repair this thing, too. Thing's in really bad shape. Should take all of this, I think. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. I don't know. I'll have to wait and see. Took it all. Okay, let's go get some more. I didn't think it was going to take it all. It did, though. Go. Follow the same line around. We are. Add warning incoming for the non subscribers. Our mid roll ads here in just a minute or two. Surely it's not going to hold all this. Oh, it's going to hold. Oh, no. This one. No, it's full. Okay. I was about to say. All right. The rest of this can go over here to this side. Then we'll go start snagging bales, I think. 
Got to speed this process up a little bit until we got to go refill the lime again. I don't want to spend all day working on one thing, so doing a little bit at a time seems reasonable. Reasonable enough, anyway. And this should hold all of this, I think. I didn't really look at the number on it, but it should be close to full anyway. 361. Oh, not even close. All right. So we have another load. It's 321, not 371. I was thinking it was 371. It's not. We'll get a smur. Smur. Whoa. Easy, big fella. Easy. A little bumpy right through there. Cross here now. All right, there's the lime needs to be revealed. It's perfect timing. We'll drop this and then uh, get a little lime refill. Baylor's doing his thing. Nice. So we don't have to worry about feeding the cows again for a little while. Should fill them up. We should have about 10,000 left in here, roughly. Something like that. I think so, anyway. Yep. 20,000 left. We'll find this one. Oh, almost done though. A little bit. Well, I say almost. It's a it's a pretty good angle on the field here now. Might try a different approach to this too. Yeah, our grass field's gonna need lime too, and then whatever we don't use off of that, we will uh, we'll just put in the. Uh, thing over there uh, liable to stack a trailer slap full uh, we might get the um, did I do that last time did I empty it all into the the big trailer and take it over there and just dump it or did I put it on the I think I emptied it all in the big trailer didn't I yeah instead of putting it all on the flatbed I think I just took it on the big trailer probably the easier way to go I guess I can get rid of it I don't need this for this one do I go open her on up all right in front I don't think it's quite gonna be enough to finish it though come on get off there get off there okay a lot of weight didn't like that still bouncing around a bit there we go let me go ahead and buy some more and go ahead and fill her on up again we're gonna need it on the grass field at some point maybe not right the second we're gonna need a bunch to go in the trailer anyway might as well just buy a bunch of it I guess let's back up out of the way here see if it'll actually drop it right there if it's gonna drop it further down Big bags, lime, eight of them. 
four times. I dropped most of them right here. That's fun. Start here then. Right like that. What's happening right there? I got it all. Yeah, I got it all. All right. Let's see if we can just do one of these. Spin that out. That's a bit jumpy. It's as far out as we can go, though. Maybe that reaches. Really can't tell from where I'm sitting. I know that'll reach. There we go. Sweet. Welcome back, everybody. They had to watch some ads. We're just filling the lime trailer back up again. And empty. Okay. Oh crap. I did it now. There we go. Yeesh, it's close. Oh, full. Okay. Just give it one of those that we can back up a little bit. All right. Off we go. Let's not disturb the piles here. The other day, somebody tried, me to, tell, tried to tell me there's no such thing as chicken patties, and there's only chicken nuggets and chicken strips. Have they never heard of a chicken sandwich? Like, from McDonald's? That's a chicken patty. That's ground chicken made into a patty. That's what chicken patties are, as far as I know. Right? Maybe. Yeah, there's definitely such thing as chicken patties, though. I don't know where we stopped here. I was on this corner. That's right. We said we we're going to do something different over here, I think. This right here is why. I think maybe if we run our help at an angle here, maybe this works. Yeah, it's gonna leave an even bigger strip there, isn't it? That's fine. All right. Keep going back like you had it, I guess. Let's go back and clean up later. Keep going like you had it. A bag of chicken patties. It's it's amazing what people will not believe with their own eyes. There's a lot of that. Um, for some reason, I, I'm not sure why either. It's like it's right here. Like it's showing you what it is. Why do why do you not believe it? Ah, oh, crap! Somehow we got off there. Hang on. Try this again. go a little bit of overlap that's okay though it won't it won't use more than it needs man knocking these bells out over here huh yeah, the end of spring is always busy we got it we got hay to do we got uh finishing up planting and fertilizing and liming and all that kind of stuff i was speaking of which let's check out the lime now Yeah, that looks good. That's where we want. We want it up here. Right? We got one little bit that's that that they're not done yet, so. Most of it's going to be that or that when they get done. That's good. Uh, and then I think just putting... Um, fertilizer on this field will bring it up a lot. 
It's not going to take that much on the grass field. And right here where we cut, this probably needs to be have some thrown on it too. We'll get to that as well. Uh, I need to I need to think about some more slurry. Not really worried about it right this second though. Snag some bales. Oh, that doesn't work anymore. Well, one of my buttons quit working. One that extends this thing out. I guess that's fine, though. Alright, well, whatever. It quit working. That's okay, though. Let's go with it. Oh, no. Oh, no, you don't. Get on there. There we go. I don't think so, Scooter. Estimated cost to fix the truck is $2,515 with free oil change. Doesn't seem like a free oil change, does it? Yikes. Come on, pick it up. There we go. Jeez. It's like pulling teeth. Hey, he's going there. Just go on there. What you doing? What is happening to this bale here? What is, what is going on? I don't get it. Well, you know what? Fine. Let's go grab this one. That one won't grab it either. I don't know what's going on here. What are you doing? Can't pick it up that time. Let's swing back around and see if we can grab this one now. I'm going to leave that one sitting in a weird spot. No reason to. Maybe we should just go left to right here. I know we're going to have to come back down here, but... The sensor that runs the heater and AC unit is $2,500? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't... I don't know if any that are that expensive, but I'm not a mechanic either. It seems like a lot. That seems like a lot. Ah, crap. That'll be fancy. I missed it. I'm going to do that without hitting the tractor. Some more hay bales. It's always good. You have to replace the entire units over a sensor? I don't know. I'm always a little skeptical when people start talking like that because that seems like, and again, I'm not I'm not saying that's what's going on, but it, it seems like they're they're just trying to get a little more money out of it. That seems that seems like a lot. Go. Just trying to remember the buttons. Just 
Should work right here, I hope. Whoa. There we go. Oh, it brought up my worker menu. I see what it did. That works out really nice, starting the thing on the inside and then having the baler go. I don't have to worry about it getting in its own way, picking up bales. That is super nice. And we're getting a lot done all at once today, too. This is great. I'll take this any day of the week. Lots of work happening in the spring. Summertime is right around the corner, though. Which means time to sell some soybeans. Oh, yeah. Pretty excited for that. Oh, crap. That's that bell completely. We hit it with the wheels. Heston bells. I'm going to assume that probably would have been an actual mess. Had that been an actual Heston bell we ran over with an actual tractor. Probably would not have liked it too much. Not at all. all right, where are we at? Right here. Eh, we'll snag this row. There we go. Bells aren't exactly laid down in straight lines. But it's just dropping them wherever, so that's why. We got room for three. Let's grab this one. Well, let's not grab that one. Let's grab the next one. Say, so let's grab the next one. I was watching that one. Grab this one. This one. There we go. That's better. Like, I know what I'm doing now. And this one. Ah, crap. Been done it again. That's all right. We got it, though. All right. Another load. We spent a lot of time on this map. This is the Travis Pastrana episode. 199. This is going really well for a map I thought we'd be done with in 100, 100 episodes. I originally said 50. I don't know what I was thinking there. We were, we were never going to finish this in 50 episodes. This wasn't going to happen. This ain't going to be perfect. Just going to drop them right there. Nope. There we go. Well, let's say it ain't going to be perfect. Let's see if we can get it closer to that. Well, that's pretty close right there. There we are. Pretty close. We've already got most of these picked up, which is good. Oh, a few extra to pick up around the headland, but... Extremely close. Crap. I knew it when it flipped sideways. Also, I didn't have this down either. I thought I did. There we go. Yeah, we'll swing around the head headland in a bit and pick all those up. May not even do that today, I don't think. To take off here in just minute, I didn't realize what time it was. Finished work. Hey, lime is done. Nice. Cobalt, what's going on? Welcome. Good to see you. Come on. Come on. Get on. What are you, what are you doing? You're just stuck? There we go. That was weird.
Dang it. Keep hitting it with the tires. This is the reason I use the smaller tractors for this. Also, why this thing won't extend out, I don't know. Come on. Ow, how's the pie? It just won't pick it up. To pick something up in a minute. No, just not gonna pick it up, huh? All right then, do this the other way. What? What, what is happening? Yeah, this thing is just too wide for it. I think. I can't get the thing to extend out either. Oh, that's extended all the way out. That's why. This tractor is just... Oh, what is happening now? There you go. The weird. This tractor is just a lot wider. I'm used to using the other tractors to pick these up, I think. I think that's my biggest issue right now. Hitting the wheels. Chilling on the couch. Ah, I'm pretty good. Pretty good. Busy day today. Played a little winter survival on the YouTube channel earlier, then jump over here on Twitch, play some farm sim. Doing pretty good today. Went and did something crazy and signed up for a gym membership. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> I'm going to grab these last two down here in this corner. Because that'll be about it for this side. Everything else is on top, which is closer. And it looks like they're both done, so that's nice. Uh, we might hold up here on the bales so we don't spend too much time working on it today. No need to get it done to done. Done done today. But I uh, would like to finish it up at some point. Let's see if we can just nudge it. Straighten it out a little bit. There we go. We'll go put all the other stuff away. Actually, we won't put the... This probably needs lime, too. We'll put it away. We'll throw some on the grass field after we get done. Go. Looking good. Looking good. Another stack of 10. That's 30 so far. We probably got uh, 50, 60 bales on the field. Maybe 70. It's not bad. You're definitely not going to run out of hay. Straw is going to be the big thing, though. We're only doing we're doing one big field and one small field of, of wheat. So we may actually run out of wheat uh, or straw. It's because I use square bales. That's exactly why. Or it could just be my driving. It's, it's likely my driving. I'm not going to lie. Most people that are regulars here can attest to that, too. My driving is a big problem. <laughs> That's a big factor in how everything works. So, can't blame it really on the Heston Bell trailer. Sometimes it's just me. Most of the time it's just me, actually. There we go. We'll just leave this sitting here for now. Let's go start our... Uh, Let's start this back up over here, our conveyor. Yeah, it's doing. It'd be at a good angle to pick the rest of that up. Oh, sent me out the other way, huh? Now we're doing over here. Yeah, the straw is just being eaten away. We don't have any. Well, I mean, I do have some more. No, I don't either. We put the rest of it in the cow bins. That's right. Okay. Well, never mind then. Uh, we are out of straw until we get some wheat. That's okay too, though, because we still have plenty of uh, plenty of straw for everybody. Let's go ahead and fill in these little spots here. Not going to use it if it doesn't need it, so that's a good thing. Only going to use what it needs. At least get this done. Stereotype said I don't use my blinker. 
A lot of stereotypes out there, though. A lot of wrong opinions about people. Yeah, I just, uh, I'm, I'm not a, I'm, I'm not a very aware driver because there's no real-time damage, you know? Like, that's something I want to see in Farm Sim at some point, is, like, wreck fest style damage. But you can turn it off, just like everything else, you can turn it off, seasons, that kind of stuff, you can turn all that off. I want to see real-time damage implemented in the game. Like, for as much as we're paying for basic repairs anyway, they might as well give us real-time damage. It's, it's... It's not cheap um, to repair stuff in this game. So it'd be nice if they just go ahead and do that. Just give it to us. Let us have it all the way. There's a mod that makes maintenance repairs actually impactful. Uh, what is it? That'd be kind of cool. Oh, too far out. Too far out. Am I going to be right in line with that bale? I think I am. Be just off to the side of it, hopefully. No, we'll just go around it. It'll be fine. 50% damage, it might actually shut down randomly. Oh, that's right. That's right, I've seen that. Yeah, I've seen that mod. I almost put it on here, because I've got real realistic everything else on here, but I skipped it. No reason to go around it, I guess, for it's going to drag it with us. It'll fall off at some point drag it to the other end of the field. Though. That's not good. Get off here. Come on, man. Let go. That line is going to be stupid out of the out of the loop there. Probably should probably should do one of these, honestly. Alright, what flips this thing? I don't remember what I did here. Uh, there we go. Auto align. Auto width, and then, nope, that's not it. That one, okay. Got it. I had to remember my buttons. What was that screen? That's GPS. Yeah, that's what the, the GPS screen looks like. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I remember now. I'm trying to remember all my buttons I got set up. Changing everything up uh, is difficult because you don't... It's hard to remember where everything's at. You get so used to where things are and then you change it all. Yeah, so there you go. Show lines. You can turn lines off. I'll leave them on just so I can see them easier. Uh, then you can do like line offsets if you have a plow, right? One of the one of the angled plows or whatever. You want to do an offset because you want the center of the plow to be your actual line. If that makes sense. So, yeah, yeah. Then you can you can do the width adjustment increment yourself, and you can change the increments 3.2 meters down to 0.03 meters. So, pretty cool. A uh, lot lot going on with GPS. Lots going on with GPS. Uh, and then course play, of course, is the is the big one. That's the really difficult one to get. <laughs> it's it's pretty tough. Oh, I'm just dragging all these bells up here. Good. At least they'll be closer. Oh, we're empty. We go. All right. Finish that off. Uh, later, after we pick up some more bales. I don't want to keep going, so I'm just going to run over more bales. It looks like the baler's done, so that's good. Uh, go ahead and drive this over to the store, put more lime in it. we got still got to do manure and, or slurry, and finish the lime up on the grass field. And that'll be that. And then on to June, where we can start selling some, uh, soybeans. That'll be good, but that's going to do it for me today, though. Uh, I typically, I typically end... Uh, Cobalt, if you're just joining us, which you are, first-time chatter. Uh, if you've never lurked, if you've never been here, 
Um, I typically go from about 4.30 p.m. Eastern to about 6.30 p.m. Eastern. So uh, I'm just stopping a little early today. I just started a little bit late. I had to run some errands. But um, yeah, I typically try to stick within that time frame. So you want to come back and hang out. 4.30 p.m. Eastern, Monday through Thursday, around at noon Eastern. I mean, around 1 p.m. Eastern on Friday. And then on my YouTube channel, I typically stream around 1 p.m. Eastern, Monday through Thursday, and then on Friday night around 7 p.m. Eastern. So swap it up on Fridays. Empty the... What? I got most of that Celtic Moon. See you all Thursday. Something can't empty. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what that is. Something can't empty. Typing backwards. Yes, I'm, I'm reading it backwards, uh, but I just don't know what the B-A-H is. Backward, yes. Yeah, I know. I mean, I mean I'm reading it backwards. I just don't know what the B-A-H is. Had. Oh, had. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I got it now. Gotcha, gotcha. Da. Da. Yes, yes. No, da. Yeah, yeah. Got it. <laughs> oh. All right. Well, let's go do it, folks. I appreciate you being here. Thanks for hanging out. I will be back uh, on the main YouTube channel tomorrow uh, at around 1 p.m. Eastern. Playing some Taxi City Life Driving Simulator. It's a very long name, but it's a very chill, relaxed game. It's a lot of fun. Coming out if you want. If not, that's cool. Do some mess on YouTube. If you're watching later on YouTube on the Farmer Dish YouTube channel, I appreciate you. Share the channel around. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers and whatnot. Uh, Pixel Deuce Plays across 500 subscribers, so that's cool. Three channels over 500 is a pretty big deal, especially when you're doing it all by yourself and streaming and streaming on Twitch too. So I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, kind of a big, big milestone for me. Uh, so if you want to check out stuff like Dinkum, Pal World, stuff like that, I'm playing that right now on my Pixel Deuce Plays channel. Links are in Linktree, exclamation point. Uh, links, I think I have an alias for that, or Linktree, L-I-N-K-T-R-E-E. -E. I appreciate you. I'll catch you next time. YouTube, just check the description. I'll see you guys later.